Hi guys, welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. Um, in this video I'm going to take you through how you can do um, a question on the binomial distribution using your graphics calculator to save you a lot of time and calculation. Now on the previous videos I've shown you how to go through the um, formal calculation using the um, stuff you know about binomial. Um, if you have a exam where you are allowed to use a graphics calculator, this can make things infinitely more easy for you. And it does a lot of the calculations that you need. Um, it, if you're doing NCA, it will do achieved and merit questions for you straight off. So let's have a look at this example. We've got drawing pins that land point up five eighths of the time. So this is if you drop a drawing pin, um, usually it will land with the flat bit down, you know, the circle piece down and the point sticking upwards. Sometimes it'll land sideways on with the point down. Um, so five eighths of the time, it will land point up. If I drop 10 drawing pins, what's the probability that exactly three will land point up and then at least three will land point up? So this is a binomial distribution. It fits the um, requirements for FIST. If you can't remember those, then just go look at that other video about rips and FIST. So x is our random variable, it follows binomial distribution. We've got 10 trials and the probability of success is 5 eighths. Now we want the probability that x is exactly equal to 3. All right, pop on over to your graphics calculator. We need the stats menu, so we're going to that second one. Um, we Now your options along the bottom here will come up with your different things. There's a video about normal distribution and there'll be one about Poisson as well, but this time we are going for binomial, which is right here. If it wasn't there in the first instance, you might need to just scroll along or perhaps select distributions first and just work through those menus until you find what you need. We're looking for binomial. Now we are doing the binomial at a particular point, just one point. So that's BPD. So we do F1 here. Now my calculator has been reset like yours would be for the exam. So first of all, we don't want list here because list tells our calculator to read the information from a, a list of data that's in it and there isn't one. So we want to enter variables. So we need to press this F2 button. Now X is the number we're testing for, which in this case is three. We want the number of trials, which was 10. The 10 drawing pins were thrown, so that's our number of trials. The probability of success goes in for P, so that is 5 eighths. And press enter for it to store all of that information. Now, one more press of your execute button will tell you what that probability comes to. So this probability here equals 0 0.03055. If you want to do it to three significant figures, that would be 0 0.0306. Okay, now what's the probability that at least three land point up? So this is slightly different. This is three or more. So we want x can be greater than or equal to three. Okay, now one thing to know about your graphics calculator, it can work with these multiple values, but only the less than ones. So we need to convert that into what what else we could think about with that. So if we had three or more up to a maximum of 10, so from nothing all the way to 10, three or more would be, now remember the whole probability adds up to one, so that'll be one minus this section here. Now that would be less than three, not including the three because that got included in the three or more. So that would be two or less. So it would be one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to two. Now your calculator can cope with the less than or equals. If we exit back out to our distributions, binomial, this time you want the BCD, C for cumulative. We're going to test all of the values up to and including two. So we need cumulative here. Now the variable stays the same at the top there, we're entering variables. X is this number here that we're testing on for. It's not the three, otherwise it would get included. We, we would do a X less than or equal to three. We don't want that because we want the three included on this part here. So less than or equal to two. So we put the two in. Number of trials stayed the same at 10 and the probability remained the same. So this is now one minus that probability that the calculator's just worked out for us. OK, 
okay? Oops. Now, just one little note. If you get this e to the minus 0, 03 thing, that means that it's quite a small decimal. And this number here will start on the third position after the decimal point. So we've got 1, 2, 3. That's where the 7 starts. Okay. So now if we do 1 minus that, we will get 0 0.9921. Um, sorry, I did a little mind blank. 5, 2. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3, 0 0.0992.